All right, continuing the study of randomness, we'll have Peter Schmidt Nielsen talking about Flip It and the Cremer Rao Bound. Okay, it's on? Okay. So uh, I am talking about Flip It and Cremer Rao Bound for, um, uh, so Ron in his talk ta explained Flip It, this new game, very simple game. Uh, you just have a single resource, and any player may capture the resource at any time for a uh, small cost, a case of I for that player. And the question is, uh, what is the asymptotically optimal non-adaptive strategy against an adaptive opponent? So my choices are made in advance, my opponent gets to learn my choices, and presumably I have some unknown parameter that the opponent is going to be estimating from the moves they do get to see. And the one question is, um, how do you decide, what do you learn when a rebate? make a move. And I consider the case where you just learned the previous move and who made it. Um, so I looked, okay, so here is the setup I'm considering. We have an opponent, player zero, who's playing Poisson process with a constant lambda. Player one is adaptive and would like to learn lambda. Lambda sampled from some unknown distribution. Um, and then player one can't learn lambda without capturing. You have to make plays to learn. If player one plays too fast, your plays might be consecutive and you don't learn anything. And if they're too slow, they waste time, like I'm doing now by explaining that. So let's see. Um, Kramer Rao-bound limits how well you can estimate a parameter theta from a distribution x from observations of x. So I thought, okay, I'll apply that here. So um, I computed, I can skip this, the Fisher information of a bunch of samples from, uh, from playing Flip It. And the result is that after n samples, after n turns, uh, you can't know lambda with variance better than lambda squared, the true lambda over n. Um, so the result is that if you uh, are playing against a player who's playing Poisson process, after a certain number of moves, you can't be doing better than a certain bound, assuming that the optimal strategy is unbiased, because the Kramer-Rao bound only holds when you make unbiased estimators. So then, oh man, I really don't have enough time. Uh, okay, the point is you stipulate a player who can do magically, wonderfully well, and then you show that if this player existed, you could uh, construct a um, uh, estimator that from the history of their game would estimate lambda too well, and therefore you show that therefore that player couldn't exist, because if they did, they could produce histories that allow you to violate the Kramer Rao bound. And I couldn't actually get all the math to work last night. I got some small expression for a t uh, expanding two ply of an adaptive player against the Poisson process, and this is the uh, Kramer Rao bound. This is the Fisher information of just that tiny little two ply game. And uh, the end proof will look something like this. It is, I create a flip it shark, a player who's unreasonably good, and if they hold the resource for more than a certain amount, then that means that they are going to only fail to capture the resource a certain number of times, which means that W is constant before is going to be larger than amount, which means that you can violate the kramer Rao bound, meaning that no player that good exists. And uh, it has some implications, but I ran out of time.